our state right now is a lesson in how dif disinformation about voter fraud spreads like wildfire and how that disinformation is equally difficult to extinguish once it gets sparked. CBS4 Denver has taken down a story that contained dubious suggestions that a postcard encouraging voter registration actually invited voter fraud. But that retraction has not stopped Colorado's Republican Party chairman, Congressman Ken Buck, from making that debunked TV report the centerpiece of his call for a federal investigation. Now, the facts are clear, and they're not partisan, and voter registration honestly should not be either. A Republican county clerk showed our Steve Steger how it really works. I'm completely an elections geek. I am so... Uh, <laughs> Consider that the reason Republican Weld County Clerk Carly Coppice doesn't seem to mind the constant phone calls questioning election security. I take this as an opportunity to have conversations with people and educate. There's much concern about the voter rolls these days after a story started making the rounds about postcards sent to people who aren't eligible to vote, encouraging them to register. The thing is, anyone ineligible who gets a postcard and tries to register likely isn't going to be able to do it. We have such a strong system here in Colorado that it'd be very, very difficult for somebody to attempt to do that. Coppice said she's unaware of any cases in Colorado recently where someone who was ineligible to vote was able to register. You fill out a voter registration form in the statewide voter registration system called SCORE. We input your information in there that automatically checks your driver's license number, make sure again that it's valid, double checks your social security number. Then your name is checked against a recent list of deaths from CDPHE, your address verified through a postal service database. And it doesn't just happen when you register. Coppas says her office verifies its voter list against the death registry at least once or twice a month. And we do a lot of that year round, not just right before an election, not just days before an election. Context is key. We we kind of ignore the, the politicalization of elections and we concentrate on making sure that we're getting that information out there that's correct and factual. But what about the ballots, you might be saying? Coppa says that is why they double check that list against the death registry twice a month to keep the voter rolls clean and make sure that they are mailing ballots to active voters. And if someone gets a ballot, fills it out, tries to do it all fraudulently, They'd have to go through signature verification. If the signatures don't match, the voters have the chance to cure their ballot right there in the county clerk's office. If they don't respond to that, Kyle, the ballot is not counted and that case is referred to the district attorney's office. It is a felony to do or to fill out a ballot fraudulently in Colorado. Whole lot of layers. Steve, thank you.